So what's he saying? He's, he's, he's pointing out something that is absolutely true, and that's that God does punish wickedness. And we're going to see that almost everything said, if not everything Eliphaz has to say, is a theological truth. The problem is that he is misapplying this theological truth in the situation. And that's really important. Pastor Dick said for years that uh, what a heresy was, was something that was not biblical, a belief that you held, or something that was biblical that you took out of its priority or misapplied out of its context. And that is a very accurate statement. You can know things and have correct ideas about God or about what God wants, but misapply them or apply them in the wrong situation at the wrong time or in the wrong way, and they become wrong. So, Elihu's, or Eliphaz's rather, Eliphaz's correct understanding that God will always punish evil, that he must punish evil, came to a false assumption or a false conclusion that therefore anyone who suffers must be getting punished by God. Do you see the problem? This is really important because this is where we get into ridiculous man-made uh, ideas that pervert our whole view of God, like Calvinism, Arminianism, and all these other isms and eims and all these other ideologies that have people's names attached to them. They come because we leave the simple word of God and say, well, from this we can conclude, and from this we can conclude, and from this we can conclude. And once you're 5, 10, 15, 20 pre presuppositions and presumptions and guesses and logical jumps out, you realize that you couldn't even see the shore if you'd been building, you know, blocks out on a dock. And that's exactly what we're going to see Eliphaz has done. He's taken some correct ideas, some truths about God, and then brought them by trying to misapply them in this circumstance. 